nothing has changed. AMC not leaving. So AMC not leaving is still trending on Twitter. And Checkmate is also trending. This has been trending for weeks and weeks and weeks. We need to keep talking, keep having our voices be heard because the fight is far from over. This is pretty terrifying. Citigroup LTD 2021, 65.9 billion sold, not yet purchased. Citadel Securities 2021, 65.7 sold, not yet purchased. Shiskana 2021, 78.9 billion sold, not yet purchased. That's a total of 210.59 billion worth of stock that has been sold, not yet purchased. Oh yeah, and that's only three of the Wall Street hedge funds. And here are some of the filings to look at. This is absolutely terrifying. Only one in January, just two in February. Five big boys come into March. Creed, Scream, Shazam, John Wick, and Dungeons and & Dragons. And so much popcorn, so much profit, so much apes winning. So as of February, there's not that many big movies coming out. But, but as of March, April, and then further on, there's more and more movies coming out. And CEO Adam did say that this year we're going to see a lot more movies coming out in general. Comment down below which out of all these movies on the screen here you think will perform the best this year for AMC. Snitches get riches? Is it any wonder the category with the highest number of tips is manipulation? Details in the comments. So this is kind of interesting. Look at the whistleblower tips to the SEC and how they have hit a new high. So a lot of people have been coming forward in their recent few years more than ever before and the SEC is paying out. And what is interesting is that manipulation is up here with 2,558 tips. Although the SEC seems to be working with whistleblowers and and trying to put those that are breaking the rules behind bars, it still to me honestly as a retail investor and consumer still feel like they could be doing more. What's it really worth to you? Would you buy it at $27? Would you buy it at $30? Would you buy it at $35? Would you buy it at $50, $60, $75, or $100? The way you answer these questions will inform you how much you really believe the stock is worth. It's easy to say the price is what I say it is, but if you're not willing to buy, isn't it kind of defining your ceiling? If you believe this stock is going to $69,420 per share, then every price up to that is a no-brainer buy. Just something to meditate on. Y'all do you, though. End of day moves. Number one, slimy lawyers. Number two, shell companies. Number three, short investigation, song and dance. Number four, pump and dump shell stock. Number five, peaceful protests. Number six, Moaz in your face, AMC ape, shorts are effed.